Well, these are different ways to read the text. Uh, literal interpretation is really uh, normal reading. Uh, it's reading the text for what it is presenting to the reader and understanding that the way in which the text is worded, is, you're pursuing that meaning. An allegorical reading suggests that there is a, almost a two-layered reading, that there's the reading on the surface of the text and then there's something else going on underneath it, that what you see in the text actually represents something else now, and something else very different. Uh, a literal reading will talk about things being referred to. So, for example, if I say, if I talk about the Holy Spirit as the paraclete, okay, which actually means comforter or encourager, we know that the referent to that is the Holy Spirit, and that's intended. That's not a multi-layered meaning. But if I were to interpret it allegorically, I'd say, well, the comforter, the comforter means something else than the Holy Spirit. It means whatever. You can take a pick in terms of what it means. An allegorical interpretation was sometimes used early on in the church, particularly in difficult passages, to try and get to a contemporary application. But it has um, become less common a way to read the Bible uh, today. A literal reading or a natural reading would be the way I'd prefer to refer to it is better because sometimes people mean by literal, they will, they will confuse that with, well, when there's figurative speech, am I supposed to, you know, really read that as something else? No, if it's intended as a figure of speech, it's to be read as a figure of speech. If there's such a thing as an allegorical parable, a parable told as an allegory, then you're supposed to read that text as the allegory intended in the parable. For example, the parable uh, of the uh, wicked husband and the, the, the people who took care of the garden poorly, you know, and they sent slaves and then they sent our servants and then they sent the, ma the son and they execute him. That's intended to be an allegory of, of Israel's history, and it should be read that way because it's intended that way. So we're talking about a natural reading uh, out of the genre or literary types that the text at a given point is reflecting and then reading it accordingly.